Good morning and welcome to our devotions. I hope and trust that all is well and that our message today will just bring you a little hope or bring you a little bit of teaching. May I inquire before we start how you are doing? Are you still coping in these current days which are so difficult? We know financially and of course the winter is here and it's cold. Are you coping? with all that is going on in the world today. Well, I want to say to you, if not, I pray that you will just come back to God, put your problems in His hands, and let Him take you through these difficult times. This morning, I'd like to speak to you about something. And, you know, very often we come into the company of people and we would find that they seem to be a little bit funny or another word that's being used a lot nowadays, obnoxious. And we don't like being in their company. And, you know, sometimes we don't understand other people. And because we don't understand, we then turn away and we don't want to befriend them or we don't want to be in their company and that is how we drive people away. But you know, as Christians, we ought to love one another. And in my daily devotion this morning, I found a text, my verse of the day that came through, came from Proverbs, 25, um, sorry, Proverbs 12, verse 25. And I want to read it to you, and I want you to listen very carefully, because I think herein lies the truth that we do not always understand. Proverbs 12, verse 25, it says, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. So, folks, many a time we come into the company of people and they have a problem, they are anxious. For whatever reason it may be, it may be, illness, they may be worried about their kids, they may be worried about their loved one, but they are anxious about something. And because they are anxious, it pulls the heart down. It weighs very, very heavily on their heart. And when that happens, you know what it's like when something is heavy on your heart. You, you can't operate like you should operate. And therefore, your mannerisms and your way of speaking and everything you do is so different. But you know, when we try and understand what is going on with that person and we try and figure out what it is that is weighing so heavily on their heart and we try and empathize with them, it makes all the difference in the world. You know, it says, a kind word cheers it up. In other words, a kind word cheers up that heart. As soon as we are kind to somebody, it displays love. It displays that we care. And it also displays that this person belongs somewhere. And when this person knows that there is somebody else they can rely on, then their whole attitude changes. So, folks, I want to challenge you today, as you go through this day and as you go through this week, that you will reach out to people. And where people are funny to you or rude to you or ugly to you, that you will reach out and you will talk to them and try and find out what is going on. Why are they like that? And you will find that there is some anxiety somewhere causing them to be like they are. And when you do find out, Listen to what they have to say and empathize. Remember what I said empathy is? It's not just merely saying I'm sorry, but it's listening and trying to bear the pain with them so that they may be made lighter their burden and that that anxiety will be shared and not just be on that person's shoulder. So show your love. Be with them. Reach out to them and love them. Again, the common denominator here is love. You know, our God is love. And without love, we cannot 
do anything. So go out and love one another as I have loved you. Do you know those words? Yes, those are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come, let us pray. Oh, dear Lord God, we praise you this morning and we come to you, Lord. And yes, Lord, you've spoken to us through your word this morning. But Lord, we want to pray that you will help us to be an empathetic person, a person that loves and a person that reaches out to everybody out there. Lord, help us be a good listener. Help us to bear one another's burdens so that truly we can love one another. Help us to avail ourselves to love and help us to carry them through this time. Help us to be kind and help us to bring a kind word to anyone who needs it. So, Lord, we pray. Be with us today. Guide us and keep us and protect us. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, I wish you a wonderful week that lies ahead. Just journey with God. And if you happen to be that anxious person, please never forget that God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. And you need not fear. Put those people or your problem into the hands of God and he will help you. Have a great week. God bless you all. Bye now. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our Christians by our love, by our love, yes they'll know.